The reason many people avoid videos about God is because they themselves are not of God, and God isn't in them. Whoever knows God listens to us, and whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. For it does not submit to God's law, indeed, it cannot. The devil has blinded so many, so much so, that they hear the message of the good news but fail to understand it. Like a criminal who run when he sees the police, so do many flee when they see anything about God, because their conscience testifies against them. For the wicked flees when none pursues. Conviction is a sign that God is calling you to himself, calling you to turn from what will lead you to destruction. If a patient thinks that he's healthy, he won't accept medicine from a doctor. Unless the patient recognizes that he is sick, until he is shown the evidence that he is unwell, he will not accept the treatment. Similarly, unless a person understands that they are sinners and guilty of sin in the eyes of God, they will never accept the salvation that God provided for them. Many believe that they are good, but according to God's standard of good, which is the Ten Commandments, not one person is righteous. There are many who deny that God exists just because they don't want to live by his standards. For the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, doing abominable deeds. There is none who does good. No man is good in the eyes of God, for all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. No blasphemer, no fornicator will inherit the kingdom of God. Because of God's holiness, you have to be perfect to enter his presence, and no man is perfect, for we are rebellious. If God should judge us justly, we all deserve hell. The good news is that God provided a way out through Jesus, who took the hell that we deserved on the cross. What this means is that like a criminal who have committed crimes against the state and is brought before the court of law, we are all guilty. But if someone should pay the fine for the crimes of the criminal, the judge can legally let him go free, even though he doesn't deserve it. Jesus paid the fine for our crimes against God, and God can legally forgive your sins and grant you eternal life. Not because you're good, but because God is good. All you have to do is turn from sin and put your faith in Jesus as your savior. God wants you to be saved. He did everything so that you don't have to perish, and Jesus is the only way to be saved. Place your faith in Christ and accept the free gift of eternal life that God has provided. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.